What's up, guys? Today we're doing an operator guide on how to play as Finca, talking all about Finca and Rainbow Six Siege for 2024 and onward, going through how to rank up and play as Finca, one of the best operators in the game and a really good entry. Let's go through her loadout. So you have the spear and her LMG, the GP41. The GP41 honestly is not a bad LMG. I've seen it do wonders on console. Uh, it just has a lot of recoil on PC. So if you are a PC player, be careful bringing this gun. I tend to rock with the spear, the flash with a 1.5 and a flash header and a vertical grip. It's a very laser beam gun. It does have a lot of first bullet kick, but it is it pretty much a beam after that, which I'll, I'll show you guys later. But definitely rock with either. I'd probably rock with this. Might rock with this on console, potentially. But most of the time, I'm running the spear. Pistols. Uh, G GSH, I've never really liked this pistol. The damage output is like, yeah, fast is not bad, but most of the time when you bring out a pistol, you're going for you know body shots, anything you can because it's like a hectic situation. So I'd rock the PMM and then going through utility. Most of the time, you'll be running frag grenades just to clear util or whatever you need to clear. They're useful for clearing out an enemy position as well, or you can run flashbangs with after the grenade nerf. Flashbangs then tend to be a little bit. Stronger than frag grenades in certain situations, so not a, necessarily a bad choice. But most of the time on Finca, I will be running grenades to clear util. So now let's talk about why Finca is such an amazing operator. She's one of the best entries in the game, being able to take a fight with her spear. Thing is, I mean, let's just show the recoil for a second. It's pretty laser beam. You do have to kind of pull it a little bit. But that first shot is pretty tough. You're going for tap fires. But keeping it in a steady line, a steady stream is honestly not super hard. So, how big his ability works? You click the button, you get a heal. Heals by 20. That slowly counts down. If you are if you are at maximum health, you can see at the top. Health bar right there. As it time goes by. It'll slowly go back to your maximum health if you are, you know, full health. But when it's done, which is now, boom. So I'm just normal health. You do get a 20 health over shield that slowly just counts down that period of time. If you are hurt, you just get healed for that amount of health up to your maximum. And that applies for anyone on your team, anywhere on the map, anywhere on the map. Which is why Pink is so amazing. You can go in, take a bunch of gunfights, take a bunch of crazy like nonsense, and then heal everybody multiple times for 60 health, technically, because you have three for 60 health. So let's say you take a, a gunfight, get taken down to like let's say 40 health, you can heal back up to 100 before you take another gunfight if you if you choose. And if anyone's down, you pick them up instantly by popping the heal anywhere on the map. Any global ability that affects your entire team. Or the or affects the other team, like like say Dokabi, are inherently strong abilities. Finca's ability has never been weak. The reason why Finca has been a, a lower tier operator is because there's been other operators with better guns. Her gun does take some getting used to. But there's been operators with better guns like Ayana. But I don't think I really have to tell anybody that Finca's ability is probably better than Ayana's. And with Ayana getting all these nerfs and the G36C recoil, Finca is definitely an operator that is going to shine a lot more. Which is why you see Finca played so much in high elo or in pro league. You know, the pop the heals after that first initial gunfight. Let's say your entire team gets lit. It's late round. You're in a 3v3 situation. Your entire team is hurt. You can just keep popping heals. Hell, half the time, I'll pop a heal before I get into a gunfight. This will have a little bit extra health. And it, if you survive with over 20, with under 20 health, it's purely because you had over, over shield. And most of the defending weapons are SMGs. They do low damage unless they hit a headshot. So it will save you quite often. And as an added bonus, when you pop an adrenal surge, your ADS slightly faster, which I'll show right now. So here's the ADS speed without the adrenal surge. Here it is with the adrenal surge. You can see the slight increase in ADS speed there. Just slight, but if you're walking around on lead and you need a quick shot to somebody, it does make it a lot easier. 
versus this, which is that's gonna get you killed. But I would say it's about 50% faster. I'm not sure the exact number, but definitely a lot. And this applies to everybody on your team, including shield players. Their ADS speed is going to be slightly faster. But a lot of times I'll use these heals when I see a shield player about to get into a firefight, just so they can bring their gun out just a little bit faster. If you see your teammate about to get into an aggressive firefight, popping the heals never bad. One bad thing about the heals though, is it does make the audio pretty tough. I mean, as you can hear, hearing around you is a little tough with that extra audio flying around. Your audio is a little skewed, so it's not all it's all not always good to just pop heals randomly. When you pop heals, maybe say like, "Hey, I'm popping a heal," or wait for someone to be hurt before you pop heals. Don't just pop heals randomly throughout the game because you know you are going to get some people killed potentially. Her ability is simple and straightforward, but so let's go through some gameplay and really talk about why Finca excels. So I'm going to move my camera so you uh, no, you guys won't be able to see my help anyways. The help is going to be at the top, and I'll be talking about. And it came in handy. So, flash, I'm throwing grenades to try to hurt her, try to make her back off, doesn't work. We hit a shot, not super hard with the spear. Just, I'm taking some damage, but honestly, I'm not worried about clash damage because her damage is basically nothing to Finca. Shooting her in the legs, taking shots, took some damage there, but I do have a heal. We go in, we take the clash. Just like that. Killing three people already in the entry. Now we're just kind of running run around like hungry, hungry hippos. I ate, as I swing out like this, kind of a dangerous swing, but knowing I'm healing, I know I'm going to be able to ADS extremely quickly, so I don't really care. The guy runs away. So my health now, I was less than half. Now I'm definitely over half. We down the vigil there. Can't really see it there. Now we're in the last part of the fight. Peek out. Tell the guy. Jiggle peeks, baby. Jiggle peeks. Here's some more finger plays on Lair. We push in. Take one down. He wasn't sure I was in that far. Just here. We see a captain empty his entire gun at us. This is the key moment to push somebody. Push out. Find the kill. Winning that gunfight. We see another, take him down, cross our placement, take another one down, almost find the next. Boom, just like that. Throw in a grenade to make someone move. I, I think there's a guy on the corner, so I throw a grenade before I swing. He is there, so the grenades, you know. You can do that with a flashbang too. Find another. Heals are so nice because look at the Iana's health. I'm you not know, sure if the Iana was hurt there, but yeah, the Iana's health. Just healing us both, honestly, is so nice. You don't want to take that maybe one more SMG shot. When you're like 20 something health, you are one shot to the body. But with Finca, that extra health, two shots, which can make the difference between you winning the gunfight and losing the gunfight. Which we don't. <laughs> Even on console, baby. That aim was not. Great, but you know, it is what it is, you controller. I just aim like I'm like a very, very bad. Free little wall bang. Yeah, you just killed another one. Just Nothing really think of there, like, you know, OP or anything. Let's go, baby. I always love popping a heal right before I'm about to take a gunfight because instead of having 100% health, I have 130 with fast ADS speed, so I can just run in full speed at somebody and ADS extremely quickly. ADS speed's so nice. So I can reposition between angles extremely fast. Take one down, sprint out, ADS right before I get there. That's the one thing I love about Finca especially is being able to pop that heal and just take two, like get one and two and then three, and you just domino people. One of the things I do the most with the grenades is just throwing grenades in blind spots. It'll mask your audio and it'll make anyone that was in that area think twice about grenades going to hit them or not. I jump in, knowing no one's gonna be near the top green. I throw another grenade at the green staircase just in case someone's there. I'm not going to need it later in the round. We find our first one. We hit pop the heal because we took a little bit of damage. Go for the next. Find him just like that. Looking for the mute and we find him there. 
There's not that many operators in the game that are always going to have a good ability. Sometimes you won't use your ability throughout the round. Mika is not the case. See my health. Yeah, I'm almost dead now. Get down the dock. I think I stay here until I heal. Look at my, look at the health difference from this clip to here. I literally waited here and popped three heals while just kind of covering. See the time difference at the top. You see the 218 to the 133. Look at that, just that health difference there, bro. Here you're a one shot, close to death. Here, you're ready for another gunfight, easily. That one, he empties his gun. We know he's not going to repeak. I push in. Your impacts, we know that they have no idea I'm this far in. We find the Azami, we run in. The Meisho thinks that he's good. He's not good. We find the K just like that. The final thing can play. We fire into someone's sunrise on coastline. We find him. I throw a grenade at the door. Destroy the utility on there. Get the barb. I pop an adrenal surge. I go in. Find one kill. We find the second. We go all the way around down the hallway. And we hear the guy ran in through kitchen door. And we find the last. Honestly, I think it's just a really fun operator to just run around, shoot people in. I mean, just looking at everyone's health. Anytime you pop a heal, literally everybody's getting full advantage of it. You get the extra ADS speed right before you take a gunfight. You heal your teammates. Don't feel like you have to heal, use every single heal. Like, before you really risk yourself, you helped your teammates somewhat. It's like, I mean, Rook Armor. Rook Armor only heals you by 20, like, over shield, like, armor. You're healing teammates that are already hurt by 20. So, basically, like, every time you pop a heal when someone's hurt, it's like putting on another Rook Armor. It's super good. Don't need to feel like you have to do every single one because, again, it's one-shot headshot. But when it comes to fighting, like, a, a Rooney with a DMR or, you know... Any SMG, SMGs do like 20, 30 damage. DMR does do 60 damage, but we overhealed Sledge enough to not die to him. And Os has just enough health to probably not die to Aruni as well. That's from Finka. Well, not Aruni for one shot at least. <laughs> All right, guys, that is it today on how to play as Finka. The reason why I think that she's one of the best operators in the game is your ability in ranked 2.0 with the TDM meta, able to take multiple gunfights, heal up, and, you know, take multiple engagements, in, including your entire team. You can potentially heal hundreds of health per round just by playing Finca, which, you know, if you take someone down, you take another 40 health, you heal back up to 100, you find another guy, you take that guy down, and he takes you down to 40 health again. You only won that firefight purely because you were Finca or someone on your team was Finca. So definitely think that she's a needed operator in the lineup with the grenades, you know, just clear you tell it's never bad and just her ability just to take raw gunfights in the tdm meta is super strong so i definitely recommend trying finca if you haven't gun is kind of hard but it doesn't take super long to get used to and uh that's it for today guys make sure to comment subscribe and leave a like down below for more peace out until next time